for today's shave, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil's Granuale and the Bazaar de Velasco. Stick around. <laughs> Happy Friday, wet shavers. We finally made it. Here's the weekend. So, um, today, uh, I figured I'd try and get back to the whole shaving world. I'm, uh, I'm going on about two days growth. I'm, like I said, I'm trying to back things off from what I did before. Maybe do two to three videos a week. Uh, I think that I can keep up with that. And, um, and that way, it, it doesn't ever seem like a job. And, uh, I don't ever feel like I have to do it. So, that... I know this is one I wanted to do for a while. Um, kind of had a busy morning. I I drove uh, about an hour and a half away from here. Got my little girl weighed in for the girls' state wrestling tournament, which is going to be held tomorrow. Um, and she did make weight, so she got her milkshake on the way home, and she's wanting some pizza tonight. So I guess I can bite the bullet. Um, with gas prices being as they are, uh, trip an hour away and then an hour and a half, well, an hour and a half away, hour and a half back, and then an hour and a half away and an hour and a half back. It's going to be a little bit pricey this weekend, but you know what? They're only young ones. So, <laughs> which way? Today, um, enough of that. Um, we'll get more into that later if, if need be, but um, today, um, this is something I got a few weeks ago, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, a few weeks ago. Um, this is, now it's been out for a little bit. I got it a few weeks ago, so new to me, new to the den. I don't know why all of a sudden the light turned like orange, but maybe it's because of the curtain behind me. I'm not quite sure. So this is Murphy and McNeil's Granuale. And we do have the matching splash. So um, this is made uh, by Razor Ray Designs did the labeling. And then obviously Murphy and McNeil made the soap. This one is in the Kodiak base. Uh, I believe they are still making this scent and you'll still get the label but it's in the Aeon base which I haven't tried. This is the first Murphy and McNeil soap I've had so I have no basis for comparison to say one's better than the other so please don't think that I'm saying that or anything else. I have heard people say good things about the Kodiak base but I've also heard people say good things about the Aeon base so Let's just leave the bases alone, and uh, let's just get down to shaving. So, like I said, today we're using Murphy and McNeil's Granuale. That is one hell of a nice label. Um, I'm a day late. It was St. Patrick's Day yesterday. I didn't get to do a shave, so, um, but I figured I would stick with the Irish theme for the week. Um, I had the green hat on earlier today, but this one here is the the Captain by the Boston Scally Company. If there we go. Now we can see it. So for those of you who are interested, that's where you, you get them. Boston Scally Company. This is the Captain series. They have a few different colors, but since I already had quite a few gray colored ones, a gray or an off gray wasn't exactly something that I was interested in getting. So um, down to the gear for today. Uh, first off, we're going to be using the 3824 Savile Row, which is already loaded. I uh, bowl lathered this. I, I had good luck breaking brushes in, you just bowl lathering with them too, rather than you know constantly face lathering. So it worked for this Omega bore brush. This thing was a, a beast to break in, but once I actually started bowl lathering with it, like every single day, it got soft real quick. So huh, almost dropped it. And then for the razor today, this is a Restored Vintage Razor. This is the Bazaar de Velasco. This is made by the Boker Razor Company and it was made for a um, Bazaar de Velasco was a, um, a store in the Philippines. So the Boker Razor Company sold I don't know how many and then put the logo on here. You can hardly see it now. There's a tree and then the emblem. I don't want to get too close and cut my fingers but the emblem and then right across here you can read it. It's a store, or it's, yeah, it's in Manila, sorry. I, the Philippines. In Manila. So, any which way. So, let's uh, get down to business here. I'm going to wet the face. Um, 
I need to get one of those misters, but I just never seem to remember when my wife's doing all the Amazon orders, so we go with the old pump spray bottle. So, and this stuff lathered up really nice, so hopefully I didn't overhydrate it. It doesn't seem as though I did. Um, obviously, I don't have a whole lot of bubbles in there, so it looks pretty creamy, and we should be able to go with this. Um, this is just going to be two-pass shave. This is just something to get me through the weekend until I go back to work. Sunday night, I'll shave before work. But obviously, tomorrow morning, my daughter's wrestling tournament, that girls' state tournament, starts at 8 a.m., and it's an hour and a half away. So we're probably going to have to be out of here by about 5.45 to make that trip. And the majority of it's all going to be in the dark. <laughs> so fun times. But, you know kiddos are only young once and I'll get plenty of sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> so maybe I did slightly overhydrate this. It can't quite tell. Nah, I guess we're good. Obviously, I'm used to using synthetics for bowl lathering other than the bore brush and this despite Savile Rose not being a super dense knot, it's more dense than those synthetics that I got up there so it's just a little bit different ball game for me shouldn't be much longer though we'll try and display this a little bit and just sort of lift the whiskers up because like I said I am working on about two days growth and the nice thing about I mean I tried to go with almost an all white or ivory type theme today because of the soap um, and the label and everything else and then you got these. By the way, this razor was restored by Ryan Moore from Legacy Razor. And uh, I've used it a few times on the channel. Uh, I love the razor. It is a heavy beast. And it just, I mean, all you got to do is guide the thing. The weight of the razor basically does all the work for you. So, and that should do it. Next Next pass, I will obviously just, um, I'll bring you guys back once the lather's done so that uh, we're saving some time. I know my last video, just because it was my first one back in eight months after my long beard sabbatical. Um, <laughs> but, so I'm trying to get back in the swing of things and working on timing. I don't want things to exceed like 20-ish minutes but this one may because I started flapping my yap about my daughter's wrestling tournament tomorrow so um, <laughs> just kind of bear with me there we go all right now I get down to business okay I thought I used the Allen block pretty well but so one other little story um, my middle finger on this hand, I, uh, I got some razors back and one of them of which is very vintage and by very vintage I mean like 1830s. So the scales on it over that amount of time, they are original, were paper thin and when I got them back from my buddy who honed them, um, there was a slight crack in the scales. Not surprised, not upset, um, it happens. And I had been meaning to try and get those restored anyway, but now I have the reason. When I was unwrapping it today, um, because the scales were paper thin and cracked, the blade came through where the scales were and just got my middle finger like right in here. And not to the point where it was gushing blood or anything, but I definitely noticed once I put my hand down in the running water, it was like, ouch. So. First pass, here we go. So yeah, um, I didn't mention before, so the notes on Granuale are white leather, gunpowder, and uh, uh, salty seas, like salty sea air. And um, so me, for those of you who know me, um, know I'm a Navy veteran. And I'm all about um, 
the sea and you know nautical type stuff so when I read the scent profile on this I thought it was a could not miss and and it it's a very good scent I mean am I absolutely in love with it no but is it one I definitely keep around yes I think that if this scent just had a little bit brighter take to it, and, and I don't even know what you'd have to add to, to do something like that, this would be an absolute home run. But like I said, I mean, I still love it to the point where it's not one that I part with. I've been uh, doing quite a bit of shaving with the uh, Wex Sexto Blade here lately, so it's nice where I don't have to put near the number of passes down to knock that fur down if you will so uh, and the biggest thing it's nice the the bigger the straight razor you're using, now please don't get me wrong, I'm not all about, you know, going, telling you to go out and get like a cartoonish, you know, two inch blade. But the bigger the blade is, the easier it is to try and manipulate it around the contours of your face without, you know, the risk of, you know, for a much smaller blade, I mean, smaller sounds like it would be easier, but this kind of guides around the contours a lot easier. Hence, you know, I mean, I did cut myself here the other day, so the fact that I got it opened up, I'm not shocked. So, any which way, like we said, we're burning daylight on time. I'm going to try and keep it under 20 minutes, but I think it's probably going to run about 23-ish once we're all said and done. For those who are newer straight razor shavers, um, the, bit, the best piece of advice that I can give you is make sure that you're stretching, all right? Um, so anytime that you can straighten out the skin just a little bit or make it more taut helps prevent an, an eventual or a possible cut. from occurring. Uh, early on when I was doing this, uh, I used to always say that's why the channel is called Cutting with Kerns because I, no joke, <laughs> cut myself almost on the daily. And, um, you know, it, it took a long time before uh, a good friend reached out to me and started, you know, talking about making sure that you're stretching in different ways, you know, this and that. And that is it right there too. So, yeah, if this is a I don't know how I don't cut myself with that shave it using it almost a week straight and using the straight razor here I end up getting cut today so um, I guess the mantra is true cutting with currents so any which way I'm gonna put you guys on a brief hold I'm gonna rinse up relather and we'll get back to the second and final pass hang tight okay so we're back um, the only thing I did take care of off camera was going against the grain on the mustache. I figured that would take a little bit more time. Um, I've done that before on here, so it's not like I can't do it. Um, and But I just didn't want to waste the time today. So on this pass, uh, I'm going to go against the grain on the neck and then across on the cheeks. Uh, one thing I did want to do is hit up the alum block for the digits one more time. So sorry about the noise on the sink. But... This way, dear old dad's fingies aren't too slick. I'm going to try and do this. So, let's go against on the neck first. And this soap is very slick. Um, so, I have uh, I did have to go add a little bit of soap to the equation, and here's why. Not, the, not really my fault until I had one, one little bleeder here and um, I used the alum or not the alum block the step stick to stop it from bleeding and then I couldn't get soap to build up there 
so I had to add a little bit more to the bowl because the brush wasn't holding on to enough. So that in turn ended up taking a little bit of time too, so um, I wouldn't fault the soap. I mean, I only try and get away with using as much as I absolutely need, so um, I mean, you could call me stingy, whatever, but this time being stingy just didn't pay off. And right at the end, um, when coming up, I try and give it a little bit of a roll to get just that little area on the jawline because I do not normally do an across the grain on the neck. Um, if I do any of it, I'll use a DE and I'm really pulling the skin up to try and straighten out any of this. But um, it's usually just done when there is a very significant amount of buildup because the hairs down here kind of grow this way <laughs> so it's kind of a bear and obviously I'm not taking a straight razor down there and trying to come across this so you know right there was what I was just talking about so clean that up and now we're gonna go across so One thing that I've gotten quite a bit better at is uh, just the way I go about rolling the razor over contour of the chin here. So if if I'm coming through here, it's basically going like this and trying to follow. And that's what I mean by a bigger blade has the ability to move a little bit safer direction. Now this is all just my opinion. So, please don't pull out a fact check or something and tell me that, that I'm wrong because of the, you know, this, it works for me. So, uh, if it works for you, great. If something else works for you, I highly encourage you to do that because none of our faces are the exact same. So... And... I was at Chris Bailey, he always says, it's your shave, do it your way. So if it works for you, it works for you. Might not work for the masses, but. Somebody definitely shouldn't be belittling you for doing something that works for you. So this blade is just a mite big for going across here that is one beneficial thing about using that shavette that I was talking about um, like I said I'm mainly trying to use the shavette to get better at it for when I travel because I'm not I'm not taking a strop and razor blades or in straight razors and taking them on a thousand mile trip number one the straps will either get destroyed crap spilled on them or something so I'm just trying to keep everything on the up and up we go easy and that shave it a lot easier to to take a loss on than something like this so uh, any which way I'm gonna put you guys on a brief hold I'm gonna rinse up and uh, we'll get into the post shave so hang on Okay, so I just took care of the cold water rinse and then um, obviously just kind of cleaned the brush out a little bit. I'll take care of the rest of that afterwards. Today it was the 3824 Savile Row. And um, so, yeah, I'll get that out of the way so it doesn't fall off the counter. Um, I am going to the Magical Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is the original. I don't know that I would even notice a scent in this stuff. I mean, then again... Um, you know, I, I guess I shouldn't say that because Chris Bailey always uses like a cucumber one. I know um, Chad Murphy 
from CD Shaven had one that he spent like two years trying to get rid of and it was peach scented and every time he'd go to use it he'd be like so um, <laughs> he finally killed that bottle he had it in a big Jack Daniels bottle with a squirt top on it so kind of clever um, obviously it's not going to be something you're going to see down here <laughs> but uh, right before the aftershave I always use this Aveeno um, daily moisturizer it helps as like a I guess another barrier because alcohol that's in the aftershave will dry out your skin a bit. I know some people might say use that after the aftershave, but for me, um, I don't want anything covering up the scent of the aftershave. So if you know if I'm doing it wrong, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> but it, it, like I said, it works for me. So now we're gonna go with the aftershave splash I believe this one does have alcohol in it uh, yes denatured alcohol is the first ingredient listed on here and I will link these in the description below that way if you guys are interested in this um, I don't know that you're gonna find the Kodiak base but you might on one of the buy sell and trades so this top is one that you're gonna have to do a little fighting with to get some of this out of here I found that and the newer PAA have the stopper bottle or stop tops like this where you almost have to tap it like so and you'll get enough out. Ugh, nice. Now the, the aftershave the aftershave has that bright spot I was telling you about that I wish the soap had. It does it smell exactly like the soap? Almost. But this has whatever bright whatever it is that this could definitely use so anyhow a little bit more of this and then we'll call it a day ah. just gotta get the back of the neck okay so now that that's all finished with we went today with Again, the uh, on the bottom of it. The 3824 Savile Row, courtesy of QED USA. So, if you're looking for one of those, um, I'll I'll try and make sure I put that in the description below as well. Uh, we went with the Bizarre Bit Dave Velasco, which is a uh, it's a Boker razor made for a store in Manila. So, hence the name. But this is a, I think it was a, an 8 8 now it's like a 31, 30 seconds. Um, it's, it's damn near an inch. We'll call it 15 16 because I know it's bigger than 7 8 And like I said, it is a hollow, so very heavy razor. Um, Ryan Moore did a great job re, uh, restoring that for me. And then today we went with Granuale by Murphy and McNeil. Okay, this is a great scent. Like I said, I would highly recommend it. If you're not into leather and uh, like stormy type seas uh, type scents like that, then I don't know that I would necessarily recommend it to you. But if you are kind of a fan of leathers, um, this reminds me a lot more of almost almost like a baseball glove or um, or a new pair of like if you go into a an old school leather boot shop type thing uh, that's where I got my strop for my straight razors actually an old Amish guy and um, that's kind of the vibe that I get from this is an old school leather with the gunpowder in it as well gunpowder and then the seat so but the leather really shines through more than anything else so so yeah uh, great stuff. Um, highly recommend it. Uh, I'm going to have to definitely try some more Murphy and McNeil soaps, probably in the Aeon base, just so that I can try and dispel that uh, that thought that there's a big difference. So, <laughs> any which way. Um, but like I said, uh, you guys, um, you guys have a great weekend. It's Friday afternoon. Um, I got to get to bed early. My daughter and I got to get out of here at about 5:30, 5:45. And wrestling starts at 8 o'clock, so it could be a long day. I don't know how many kids are in her weight class. She's in the 9 and 10 group, and she's 
in the 50 pound weight class. So she's the tiniest weight for her age. So it's going to be fun, but uh, it's the anticipation is killing me. So again, you guys have a great weekend. Thank you very much for stopping by, um, for giving me a chance to uh, BS with you guys a little bit. And um, any which way. I will uh, be back sometime soon, probably two, three days, maybe, hopefully. But in, in the meantime, guys, have a great weekend. Keep your shaves clean. Keep them wet. Later, guys.